Hi there. Now, in the first part of the question, we were asked to show that the identity 1 over 1 minus tan x minus 1 over 1 plus tan x was identical to tan 2x. And now we're being asked to hence evaluate this integral here, giving you answer then in the form a natural log of b. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, let's just put down the integral here that we're given. The integral then of 1 over 1 minus tan x minus 1 over 1 plus tan x, all integrated with respect to x between the limits pi upon 12 to pi upon 6. Now, there's two ways that come to mind that we can do this. And I'll show you one way in this video. And then the next video, I'll show you the alternative way. So we've got our integral and we've seen that this identity in here from this first part was identical to tan 2x. So clearly that's what the hence is about to pick up on that. So we can say that this is equal then to the integral from pi upon 12 to pi upon 6 of tan 2x integrating tan 2x then with respect to x. And the integral of tan 2x, we can think of tan 2x as sine 2x, all divided by the cosine of 2x. And we're integrating that between those two limits. Let's just put them in again, pi upon 12, then pi upon 6. And we're integrating that with respect to x. Now, for this, if you were to differentiate the denominator, you would get minus 2 sine 2x. So this comes from differentiating a natural log function. The integral of this is a natural log type, where we have the natural log of the denominator, cosine of 2x. If we were to differentiate this, we'd get... 1 over cos 2x times minus 2 sine 2x. So we'd end up basically with, with this, but with minus 2 in the front. So to get rid of that, to make it back to this, we just need to put minus a half. OK, so minus a half natural log cos 2x. And then this goes between the limits, and I'll put the minus a half out the front. OK, goes between those two limits then of pi upon 12 to pi upon 6. So it's just a question of substituting those limits in. So if we put pi upon 6 in first of all, we've got minus a half, and we'll have a square bracket there. We've got the natural log then of the cosine of two lots of pi upon 6, in other words, pi upon 3. And then from this, we would subtract the natural log of the cosine of 2 lots of pi upon 12, which is going to be the cosine of pi upon 6. All right. Now, working this out, we've got our minus half at the front. And then we've got the cosine of pi upon 3, which is a half. So you're going to have the natural log of a half. And then we've got minus, and the cosine of pi upon 6 is root 3 upon 2. So you have the natural log of root 3 upon 2. And we can tidy this up. We've got to create one term here, one natural log term. So we can take the minus a half and applying the division rule here, we are going to have the natural log of a half divided by root 3 upon 2, which is going to be 1 on root 3. So I have one version then of this, a being minus a half and b being 1 over root 3. But I could, for instance, take this minus, think of this as minus 1, take it up as a power, so I'm going to have 
1 over root 3 all to the power minus 1 and that would mean that I just get a half times the natural log of root 3. Just need to reciprocate then 1 over root 3 giving us the root 3. So that's another version a being a half and b being root of 3. Okay so that's given you some idea then how we can go about that one.